Hey guys, what's going on? Crossline Boy here, back today with another Minecraft video. And today we're back. We're here with the opening. We're gonna be opening some more openables. Sorry, uh, I took a little break in between. I mean, I did record the one million dollar challenge video. Uh, uh, um, that's all I have to say about that video. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna get right back into this and do another opening. And if you guys haven't seen already, probably because I just did it. Uh, I changed the thumbnails for my opening video so they're a little bit more clean and uh, I don't want to say perfect. I mean they're more professional just not like top tier grade. Uh, but yeah let's get into this. Um, we're going to be opening pots of gold, buried treasure, warzone crates, and our immortal artifacts. So first thing let's see. Um, okay so first we're going to show you the openable animation for a pot of gold. It's basically like an ancient rune and stuff. It'll will it push you away? Yeah, it pushes you away. So it's basically the same as an ancient rune, uh, legendary relic, or immortal stone. So we're gonna turn them off and open them. Um, oh yeah, it ju it just makes it faster if you turn off the animation. What we're gonna do? We're gonna open a bunch of these up. Uh, let's see some op. Ah, uh, some diamond ore seeds. That's pretty nice. Uh, mainly they just give you like, uh, like emeralds, diamonds, uh, iron, gold, and then they give you ore seeds. And apparently now OP enchant crates. Uh, wow, we got a lot of golden gold blocks from these. Uh, here. What was the last stuff by here? Okay. We'll, we'll just throw all these in here. Yep. Let's see, uh, some gold apples, yeah, I mean, they're decent for money, um, I mean, yeah, I usually pay like 90, or 75 to 100k per pot of gold, so not too much, because obviously they don't give you like, ooh, uh, you can get luckiest armor, which apparently increases your chances if you have a full set, it apparently increases your chances of unlocking a shard, uh, I don't know about that though. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so next we're going to do, uh, let's do buried treasure. So what we're going to do, we're going to toggle the animations off again, or toggle them on. So this is the animation for a buried treasure. It kind of just plays chest and then it scrolls through. And it's kind of off, I think it's, right, diamond block. Not bad. Uh, but we're going to turn the cosmetics off. Just uh, make it a little bit faster. Ooh, actually, oh, five horses box, not bad. Actually, what I like to do, I used to do this all the time. Uh, you put it, make them into dub chests, and you just open a bunch of them at once. That's what I love doing. Ooh, immortal stone, alright, alright, I rate it, I rate it. Some ore seeds, legendary relic. Alright, not bad, not too bad. I uh, will put the openables all in this one. Mm, uh, let me put things in here. Alright, and then we got 18 more to go. But yeah, I like my old openings. I think I did this for my old openings. I would just open them like this. Uh, I can't remember though. Let's see. Ooh, golden treasure. Those are nice to collect. Or seed box, a mortal stone, of course. Oh baby, uh, diamond block seed. All right. So we got another more good stuff. Uh, I'll move on to the next one. All right. So now we're gonna be opening warzone crates. Now, if any of you are like OGs and remember how immortal shards used to be, um, it would spawn like a bunch of like bat kind of entities that would fly around, and there would be a bunch of no unlocks and a bunch of unlocks. And they would slowly disappear until you let you're left with one. Um, yeah. So that's basically now you know the if you play now you know the new kind of rolling thing for mortal shards. Well, they replaced uh, warzone crates. So if you saw my old videos, they were like uh, you would just roll them and it it was kind of like a double chest and it would rotate. But now they made them like the old immortal shards. So boom, you got a bunch of them flying around, and they keep disappearing, and then the last three left, uh, you get. 
So yeah, let's see. Oh, we got a bunch of gold blocks left that we could get. Let's see. Oh, uh, no, we didn't get them. We got... Alright, we'll do one more, and then I'll probably toggle it off. Because it does take a while from the open. Because it takes, like, 30 seconds, maybe. Yeah, more like 20 seconds, but still takes quite a bit of time. Oh, very treasure left. Um, I should stop saying like oh, I hope we get that, but because every time we say that, it seems to disappear. Um, but because it's, it, that's gonna take a while to do all of them like that, we're just gonna do that. I mean, even just placing them like that, it gives you like the rolling thing, and then it still takes like five seconds. Ooh, storm generator and ancient rune, not bad. Uh, and with wars, oh, with wars on greats, you can open multiple at once. All right. But with like Warzone crates, if you have the animations on and you're rolling it, you can't. You're not allowed to use like commands or anything. Uh, I'm pretty sure they did that so you can prevent they to prevent like duping and stuff because people would figure out how to use commands and stuff to end up duping uh, the items or whatever. So yeah. Ooh, ancient rune. All right. Yeah, we're getting a lot of more openables. Story challenge pass. Those are pretty good. Um, ooh, some challenge XP, um, pig spawner, interesting, uh, where's ancient rune, uh, maybe we'll use this, oh, 2500 challenge XP, that's really good, yeah, actually, yeah, wars and grades are pretty good for stuff, I mean, we got like 45 of them, so, I mean, 30 of them left, but we had 40, like 45 in total, economy ticket, for 250k, all right, not bad, not bad. Um, let's see, two storm generators and one. You can see right here. I mean, that's pretty good. Cause storm gens, I mean, you can sell them for a good like 300k, 200k a piece usually. <laughs> Some more war zone crates, or seed box, uh, story challenge pass. Buried treasure, alright. Another storm gen. See, you can get pretty decent stuff from these, um, which is really nice. Wait, what orcs box is that? Three or five? Alright. Yeah, I've noticed that like 10 orcs boxes are a lot more rare nowadays. Like, I have yet to see very. I mean, I, I've seen them, just not. Oh, actually. You know what? Yeah, we'll open the buried treasure right now. And uh, we get a global XP booster, alright. Yeah, like, yeah, like, you don't see any of the 10 or seed crates or the 25s much anymore, or even the 15s. Oh, legendary Relic and Buried Treasure in one. That's pretty nice. Uh, Storm Generator and Ancient Rune. Nice. Man, I love opening, because you just get so much good stuff. Like I said, I've probably said before, if you only open a couple at once, you'll get, like, crappy stuff, and you'll be like, yeah, open walls are terrible. But if you open a ton at once, then it's like, ooh, baby, they're OP. Um, Alright. Boom, Mortal Stone, uh, Orsi Box. I hate decks of cards, because they're so useless, because they just give you... Literally, it's a deck of cards, like, you know, in real life, you know, 52 cards. It just gives you that in paper, and it's, like, use. I mean, you could try to play, like, a card game, but, eh. Oh, Orsi Box, nice. Alright, that's it for the, uh, Wars and Crates. So now we have Immortal Artifacts. So the way you get these, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, but I'll explain it again. You get these from Mining World. It used to be... At for a mining world game, if you get the most kills, you get one, and if you get the most points, you get one. So you had a potential of to get two of them, but now they made it so um, they, it no longer gives you it for kills, and the game has to like 
it has to play out the whole 20 minutes to get the artifact. So you can't just go in with a bunch of alts, kill them all, and get two artifacts. You have to actually uh, play the game and to the end. Oh, I just said crash in chat. Um, but so if you that means letting it all the whole game play out. 41 of these. I mean, keep in mind I've opened a couple of these beforehand. Like I don't even know how many. But 41, 20 minutes each. I did the math, and that's about um, 13 hours in Mining World. 13 hours. And that's act that you have to actually actively play too, because you have to get the highest score. Like, wait, is that? Wait, no. Because 20. T okay, so divide that by 3, 39, 13. Actually, that's almost 14 hours. It's 13 hours, 40 minutes just to get these. And keep in mind that those are games that I've won. So I've won, I've played Mining World for 14 hours, and those are winning games. So, I mean, I've probably played 20, maybe 20 hours in Mining World. Maybe, uh, yeah, I'd say maybe 20 hours in Mining World in total. Like, yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, actually, yeah. Uh, I'm going to toggle on the animation, see if that does anything different with them. Uh, but it's just like the old Warzone crates, it kind of spins. Uh, 250k, alright. Um, and then if you toggle off animations, I think it's the same thing. Yeah, it's just the same thing. Right, super cookie. <clears throat> Buried treasure, we'll open that up. Transforming skull, meh. Uh, legendary relic. I'm getting so many openables. Expel Econ Meet it, 100,000. I mean, it's still decent money. Because every Mining World game you can get, like, I can get a maximum of, like, 100k. Or, not 100k, uh, 500k, which I usually do. So I get 500k plus whatever I get from this Immortal Artifact. Which is pretty nice. Uh, Flash Heal. Another Legendary Relic. Alright. Ooh, Challenge XP Bottle, we'll use that. Ooh, come on. And uh, we got like the least amount we could from that, but that's all right. Challenge XP, is challenge XP, dispel arcane shard, more challenge XP. All right, we can. Yep, same thing. We got like the least amount we could possibly get. Come on. All right. Uh, I just scuffled up from that competition. Uh, all right. Same thing, like least amount. Um, okay, another challenge XP bottle. Come on. Okay, that one's that one was better. It was more in the middle of what, the possibilities of what we could get. Uh, enchant crate here. I'm gonna throw these on here. Empty up my inventory a little bit. All right. Gold iron not travels. Not bad. Another. Okay, I guess legendary the chance of getting legendary relics are kind of high in this. I guess. And challenge XP apparently. Uh, let's see. That's about a minimum we could get from that. Uh, ran so why so many random paper schematics? Yeesh. Uh, challenge XP, let's see. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Or seed, or seed, um, oh, a 10 or seed box. So just as I was saying, you don't see as many of those nowadays. Okay, legendary relics. Okay, apparently immortal artifacts are good for getting legendary relics. Who knew? 250k. I'm am sen sensing a theme here. Uh, yeah, legendary relics, Kami tickets, lucky challenge XP bottle. You have a minimum. You can get one to five thousand XP from this. Ooh, three thousand. All right, not bad. We got two buffles from that. Ooh, another challenge XP bottle. What the heck? I mean, we could sell these for a lot of money. Another. Ch okay. Apparently, if you want to level up a lot, get some more artifacts. Um. Yep, there we go. We've leveled up like... Are you kidding me? This is the third one. Oh my god. Just from opening these, we've leveled up like six times. This is actually insane. I didn't... I have not... I haven't opened this many at once before, so I didn't really know there was like a pattern. Or I didn't really know about a, any pattern of what you could get. 
Uh, but apparently you can get a ton of um, challenge XP. And for our last one, it gave us a level up pass. Okay, if you guys don't think that's freaking insane, then there's something wrong with you. Like, wow. Um, Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all my uh, random paper schematics, and I'm going to do that for my last opening today. Okay, let's find all these babies. Because these can give me, like, Frankens and stuff, and, like, I just want to extend the video a little bit longer so you, have, you guys have some more content to watch. Um, alright, so we have 18 to open. Let's go. See if we can get anything good. Uh, treasure chest, that can give you gold a bunch of gold blocks. Um, I'm hoping for a Franken schematic. Christmas tree, that can give you some good blocks. And, yeah. Alright, we got two that are decent. Not too bad. A lot of schematics now. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna take these to my house. Uh, don't wanna put that, lose that in there. I'm also gonna grab my ore seeds and place them. I'm gonna sort them if you guys wanna watch that. Uh, oh, we got so much monies. Monies, monies, monies. Oops. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, hit that like button. Um, uh, sorry about that. I had to pause real quick, so I don't even know where I, what I was talking about. Um, but while I was paused, I went over to the... Uh, I went looking through the chest of my previous openings, and turns out... I didn't open all the challenge XP I'd gotten. Uh, so yeah, we're going to just do that right now and see what we get. So we're level, we, I'm pretty sure when we started this, we were at level 352. Now we're at level 358. And actually, look right here. I got all base. It's a lucky challenge XP battle. It just doesn't, isn't called that. But it's the same amount of XP. But yeah, let's see. So we're at three. Wow. All right. Wow. Wow. Okay, okay, I see how it is, I see how it is. I rate it, I rate it. So we're at two, 358, we gained 6 levels, so in total we gained about 12 levels from opening. Like, that's that's pretty good, if I do say so myself. Uh, but yeah, let's just grab the rest of this stuff. Uh, let's grab schematics. Uh... Just stuff I can put away, uh, kind of organize everything. Ooh, baby, we got so much stuff, so much money. Yeah, I mean, price price out. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I can't talk today. I mean, well, I can't talk any day if you watch my videos. Um, but yeah, I got lots of uh, money, moolah to sell. Oh, there's some more there. If you guys don't know, I like money. I like, I like it a lot. Uh, let's see if we can see if we can have it. Eh, if we have any more challenge XP. Doesn't look like it. Oh, yep, more challenge XP right there. So even looking through all this, I, I still managed to miss some uh, challenge XP. Some more. Okay, what the? Oh yeah, uh, I'm apparently blind. Uh, you guys, send me some money so I can um, get some surgery on my eyes. Because I'm blind. Oh, baby, look at all these blocks, I swear. Alright, let's uh, pop these challenge XP. Let's see what we got. We got lots, alright. So we were at 358. Now we're at... Okay, so we gained 10 levels instead of 6. Uh, just, uh, yeah, so, uh, that's some money right there, and actually, really quickly, I'm going to show you guys where I keep all my different kinds of blocks, uh, just throw those in there so we can take these with us, so, here, if we go to my vault, here we keep up all my money schematics and, uh, economy tickets, as it's, we got a lot. Here we keep my blocks. So here's our diamond blocks. 
Here's our emerald blocks, almost half a dub. Uh, here's our gold blocks. And the real kicker, our uh, piece de resistance. I'm gonna, let's see, wait, wait was this one full? No, it wasn't. Boom. Uh, so yeah, that's 24. 27 dub chests of iron blocks. Yeah, all these are full. All these are full. And all of these are full. These two. And then I'm working on filling up this one. Yeah. So I like money. I have a lot of it. And it's really nice. I'm going to go to a less laggy area. Alright. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed, smash that like button. Oh, we got one more buried treasure to open. <laughs> Diamond Orsi. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you did. Uh, smash that like button. You know, comment down below if you want to see other games or other things on Minecraft. Um, but yeah, uh, the opening next opening should be soon. And actually, I wanted to show you guys this. So the next thing we're going to be doing is Mystic Timbers. I have 69 of them. Un that was actually unintentional. Um, so I have 69 of them. Each one takes a minute to open if you don't like use like the bomb things uh, to like lower the time and get more points. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that, it could it'll take over I me mean, over an hour to open. So in the next opening video, I'll probably open some at the beginning, pause the video, open the rest, or leave like five till the end and then open them um and yeah and then i also want to show you so it's been like a week or two maybe since i did my like runes relics and op uh stone opening since then i've already gotten a stack of legendary relics and ancient rune or a stack and a half of ancient runes a stack of legendary relics uh look at all these ore seeds as well that i've gotten since then um so yeah, so it's a lot easier than I thought to get open rolls. And I just saw this. Ironically, 64 plus 3 plus 2. Unintentionally, obviously, because I just got these ancient, uh, these legendary relics. Un unintentionally, I have 69 of them. I just, pff, I don't know anymore. But yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. Like, yeah, I already gave you my whole spiel. Um... And I'll see you guys later.